God damn, I love how that, that's so different from what I've it's seen. It's the negative like, effect style-wise. for me. Wow! Wow! Oh. This is what I was waiting for when Freerun was announced as an anime. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Vontae, the first, the day portion of Mugen Eclipse. And it's me, Mr. Twitchy, the night portion of Mugen Eclipse. We are back with the third free run episode of season one, third episode of our recording session. Probably going to cut it off here, and I think based on the title of this episode, that's a pretty good choice. Interesting, because my title for mine is Video 5, so... Uh, that's, that's, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Last episode of Fire, I, I can't get over it, how good, and I believe it is intentional, how good Himmel's character is. Just mm-hmm. a great foil for the series, great foil for Free Run. And I said it off camera, but I'll bring it up right here. It would hurt even more if they were probably some lovers or she loved Himmel. Because uh, mm-hmm. even like back going back to the uh, past scene where they're around all those flowers and he made that little flower head dress thing whatever that thing was he put on her head felt very some intimate love vibes there. okay that's just me but what's your thoughts on that no no it's not just you uh when i read that first in the <laughs> manga my eyebrows kind of went up a little bit i'm just like huh Are they kind of hitting a little romance here and there's some romance in this series i won't give anything away whether it's related to this or another set of characters but that's another aspect of the shonen genre that isn't typically touched upon um and i think it's done actually pretty well in this series so that's another thing that i'm looking forward to showing the romance always sucks but this this one's pretty good that's the romance this is pretty good because showing the romance dumb boys don't know what they doing (laughs) don't know what they doing a lot of times they be Mm -hmm. tripping (laughs) nah but i'm excited to get into this episode so if you will all right guys so without any further delay let's get into the third episode of free run season one right about now never thought about this before but i wonder how mangaka feel when like a studio does their series justice they probably be hyped (laughs) like yeah we got mappa and Give me that one. Ones where the animators do poorly. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's just it's always been a air. dream of mine to have it shown. They're thinking, God damn it, Larry! I'll be swinging swinging at the air. <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn it! Why couldn't I get David Productions? Why couldn't I get you Portable? Why couldn't I get? <laughs> no, nah, if I if I what what uh animation studio do you think if you were to create a story that you would want to do and you think they would do a great job well i've kind of had a story in mind it's kind of like a uh fire and ice type of deal it's like a shonen battle manga that i've had in my mind probably maybe studio bones i feel like they would production Mm, okay and it's not even just because they're my favorite but i just feel like they just do everything right sound design osc animation that's true can i is it too late to change my pick (laughs) (laughs) does she get even older uh i don't know she's taller than her now it's it's been another six months Uh, so technically free run she will be the best mage of all time in all of anime (laughs) she knows everything i will not confirm or deny because it's gonna be like she's basically senku of magic (laughs) or she can be the senku of magic She's got unlimited time. Yeah, like she already completed her story, and now she's in the epilogue, still getting new shit, turning sweet grapes into sour grapes. Like <laughs> that's some real true magician. <laughs> like that's the most side quest of side quest I've ever side quested before. Yuruichi. Hey. I mean, sorry, bleach head tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what purposely doing things slower would like help her to like if enjoy anything, things as slow as she can. Yeah, if anything, I might say like recommend she speed it up a little bit because otherwise, like she's working on her own timeline. True. Or just enjoy the most out of everything. Yeah. That's simple as that. What indie hell? Yeah. <sighs> Do y'all know who she is? Literally, no. Don't. She just looked different. 
スイーツは俺たち冒険者の活力だからな。あばよ。Yeah. Fern, you are not Metal Gear Solid level of following right now. Uh, Snake, what are you doing? I'm in a box. A cardboard box? Why are you? I know this is literally an epilogue, but it like it actually genuinely feels like an epilogue. Yeah, I know that's obvious, <laughs> but you know what I mean. It really feels like I've been watching this series for like five seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Fern has. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how she walks. She's so proud. <laughs> oh, free run. Nice. Beautiful. She's getting more sensei-like. Now she does. her voice, too. It sounds more mature. He's really the... He exemplifies what a goat is, man. All these frauds that you guys call goat, take notes. I mean, Even it's not memory. just he's a it's not he's a hero. He's kind, but like he remembers the details. He cares enough yes. to remember like what's your favorite dessert. Yep. Why well, do I feel like it would be cool to see the mangaka? I don't know what they put in later on, but like if we were to like go back to their journey and like mm. it just kind of turns into like a whole different kind of series. <laughs> I mean, it'd like, still be the same series, but yeah, it's a different series at that point. It would make you like this even more. Like, damn, they really went through all of that. Even though we don't need to see it, though, it's just an interesting alternative take. Even if it's just a film or something like that, or like a little special. <laughs> Hopelessly dense. <laughs> And what did she say she was trying to do at the beginning of the series? Mm, that looks so good. Sugar. We're adults. Sugar. Be kicking our ass, but... <laughs> hey, I gotta good. go to bed in an hour. I can't be eating the <laughs> sugar. Sugar looks at us and says, you're not fun anymore. And that's why it does what it does to us. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, free run. <laughs> I, I think that's anime original. I don't remember that. <laughs> Earlier you asked me if there was one part that I'm looking forward to. I'm thinking we're getting close. Okay. God, see that all the time and that shit just looks so fire. <laughs> I don't care if it's like damn near the same move or if it is. I don't know. It looks the same. It's still fire. Is that the same? That ain't. <laughs> Kill Hero? Shout out to my boy now for me, but that show is a little, uh, it's a little average. I used to like it. Woo! Oh, wow. Yeah, that sensei knows a few tricks. Oh, shit. Whoa. This animation. I know, right? It's funny because they can always pop off like this for a short spurt. It's and it doesn't to need to be like that consistently. That's exactly. not this type of show. Mm -mm. Which makes everything rewarding because we don't need it, for one. And two, when we get it, it's like a treat on top of what we're already getting. Makes sense. Also, one thing I absolutely love about this series is the power system is very grounded. It has logic, it has rules, and it has counters to pretty much everything. Also, you know it's a different series because the pupil usually in these series be so uneasy, a little bit annoying, you know, and she's not like that at all. <laughs> I mean, she's very mature for a 16-year-old. Exactly. Ooh. The typical old man slouched back, hands behind his head, walking. Oh, damn. Yeah! yeah. Hmm. Oh, damn. But you got your posse, though. Oh, he's such a goat! Mm -hmm. It's insane. He has full faith in her. It's been 50 years. You're right. So. I can see, like, you got it. You're going to learn more things. You already are like that. Like, faith in my girl, man. Look at him. 
Damn. She says that so matter-of-factly. Right. <laughs> I was just thinking that in my head. <laughs> I'll just take care of him tomorrow. ゾルトラーク。やつの開発した市場が突然。ゾルトラーク。ゾルトラーク。ゾルトラーク。ゾルトラーク。ゾルトラーク。ゾルトラーク。ゾルトラーク。ゾルトラーク。ゾルトラー
about the history of magic. Because in the short 80 years since they sealed Qual, they have essentially reverse engineered and then come up with a perfect countermeasure to defeat him. And all it took was 80 years of human ingenuity. And you really have to respect just the work that they put in in order to accomplish that task. Because 80 years is probably about two or three generations. But if you have two or three generations of mages working on a single countermeasure for a single adversary that was sealed, like you guys know that he was a problem a la the 70% of mages that he killed, obviously. Mm -hmm. But they were able to pass that torch from generation to generation to generation. And then Freerun, she used his own spell against him. Now, he just, he couldn't comprehend that humans or elves had the capacity to build up that wealth of experience and knowledge in just 80 years but one thing about right. magic that you'll definitely come to learn for those of you watching for the first time in vante is that the progression of magic across the years is insane i didn't like, think about that <laughs> just this this the new spells that people create the old spells that people have essentially modified from previous times and how they're using it now like there's just an endless world of possibilities as it relates to magic and again that goes back to my point last episode when i was talking about the wonder of this series like you're gonna see some crazy spells in this show like i've not seen any of these before and it's just like wow they really <laughs> had some creativity in you know creating this power system hmm. i wonder if she's if uh Freeman is gonna like have to i don't think she has to but i wonder if she would like create like a new guild or something like that can you elaborate on that what do you mean like if she's gonna get like a new um well she already has her her apprentice her mm -hmm. pupil fern i wonder if she's gonna like build like another group oh, with okay. her. i mean she doesn't you know need to really go all out like for example with this right here like it's at the point where i'm like i'm different now we're yeah. different. We learn more. We learned about your attack. We're different now. But I wonder if there, in the future, if there will be something that will obviously be a problem. I wonder, will she need to create a new guild or she just wants to? Because like in the in the opening, for example, there was a few characters in there. I wonder if we're going to uh, like link up with them and create like a faction or if they're just going to be yeah. like an ally or just people that, you know, that we rock with or whatever. Because if so, that would really even get even more into her maturity. and. Sure. It'll be cool to see because it seems like Himmel within their group back in the day, he was like the, uh, you know, the facilitator, the leader, the one who in battle and outside of battle taught them a lot of stuff about life, about yep. all that kind of stuff. And I think she's going to carry on that mantle and do it for like Fern and for mm. other people within that new group. Yep. So I think that'll be pretty cool to see, especially if she shifts that like apathetic, like her state of, you know, of that and then see it casually starts changing. She starts getting more like glimmer in her eyes, more excitement, more emotion. That would be cool to see by the end of the story if we can get to that point where, you know, that would be dope. Where she can essentially be the new quote unquote hero, like Himmel, which she is already a hero, but you know what I mean, like that. I mean, they're, she's following in their footsteps, the footsteps yep. of their previous journey. And another yep. point I wanted to build off of what I said earlier was Magic is advancing ever so steadily towards the future. Now, what about adversaries? Right. So it, you would think. Yeah, you yeah. would think that they would be developing <laughs> magic over the years too. And even though they defeated the Demon King, like I'm sure there's either going to be other mages or there's going to be remnants of the, the Demon King army, as we saw with Qual, that have been, yep. you know, survived that that war or that christening so there's lots to be excited about with this series i'm just saying i wonder um if we will dive into like other clans of people too because so far we mostly human mm -hmm. the de uh devil and yep. obviously or demon and obviously uh elf or free ring yeah so i wonder what else like giants or like uh goblins or i'm just trying to think of stuff around those this sure. kind of fantasy adventure type series so I'll be dope to see too. You're in the right place. I don't got nothing else to say. So if you want to 
say anything else or just get us right out of here? Nope, good on my end. So, you guys know the drill, man. Stay tuned for more videos. We're going to be having a lot coming out throughout the fall time into the new year. Uh, so, stay tuned for all that. Once again, thank you guys for supporting the channel. You guys have been coming through a lot for various different series, giving us mm -hmm. good discussions in the comments and stuff, and showing your appreciation. So, we rock with that heavily. And, yeah, so, hope you guys all have a good one. So, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay clean. See you guys all in the next video. And... Peace. Peace.